this group uh, makes nothing easy. Uh, but they don't give in. And uh, when you have a lead, sometimes it's harder to try to keep that, specifically against a team that's 5-1, and one, playing very well, has the ability to shoot the three-point shot, and they put so much pressure on you. Uh, we were able to do a pretty good job defensively in limiting the amount of threes that Denver took tonight. It was what we wanted to do, and they still shoot 50%. So that puts so much pressure. And then when you're pressed out so far, you give up a great deal off a of pick and roll. And so we tried to play it several different ways. And, uh, it, it, you know, sometimes it works better than others. And, uh, but we found enough plays to be made. I thought Carla was big for us tonight. We uh, go down a point with about four minutes to go, and she takes someone off the dribble and finishes the shot, gets fouled, steps to the free throw line, makes that free throw line, and then she hits a big three out of the corner. Marta only gets one three tonight, and that's one of hers down the stretch. So uh, cardiac kids step up, I guess, when they're supposed to step up. And then I thought Bailey Cotton showed us great senior leadership to have a double double uh, to end up going with 16 points, 14 rebounds. More importantly, of the 14 rebounds, eight were offensively, which gives us eight extra possessions. And in a game of this caliber, this type, uh, each one of those possessions mattered. Joe, were you willing to, I guess, and I use the term give up twos to, to, to not give up threes, I guess, with that kind of plan tonight? When you lead the country in shooting threes, you better take threes away because you can't score with them. And uh, that's part of what we talked about doing. And as I said, we limit to, to 14 threes, and yet they still shoot 50%. Uh, I did not want to give up very many more threes. And uh, they did a good job attacking what we gave them. And I thought both teams made plays down the stretch. And it uh, seems every game's like this for us. Uh, comes down to the last minute, but yet they feel so confident in being able to make plays. I also thought in the first half, you know, we were saddled with some foul trouble with Taylor and Bailey, and so we really have to ask some young players to step up. I thought Teresa once again in the first half played well. I thought Rochelle played well in the first half, and then we just needed to make a few more plays in the second half that we did not do. And when I take a look at this, you know, Denver shoots 70 percent in the second half. Uh, good thing we had such a big lead. We talked uh, about Carla having a tough game in Montana State. She really did a good job of putting that one behind her and, and coming back this way. What does it say to come out and do that? That uh, shows what a competitor she is. She's always asking me if she can watch more film. She wants to learn to be the best player she can be. We know she's talented. And, uh, you know, one of the things, Keith, you and I talked about is that Montana State game, some of that was on me. Uh, you know, with freshmen, you got to be careful uh, how much you challenge sometimes. And I thought we maybe uh, didn't give her enough encouragement in the Montana State game. But yet she came right back tonight. And as I told her, you, know, you go from having maybe one of your worst games to having your best game. That says so much about you as a player, a competitor, and trying to get all players to understand you move on to the next play. And uh, that even showed with Bailey. We're up three. She misses the front end of her free throw. Now all of a sudden you're worried about having to switch everything, take away threes, and she steps up and makes the tougher of the two free throws. Joe, you not only took Love out of the game. I mean, you literally took her out of the game. I mean, they didn't play her for almost 12 minutes in that second half. I guess what what was the game plan? What did you do so well against her? Well, the biggest thing when you look at her numbers and she's over 50%, and so there's a lot of things that I look at and go, I don't know how well we did sometimes. Uh, but one of the things was is when you know somebody's such a tremendous scorer and can shoot the basketball as well as she does, uh, we had to find her in transition immediately. You had to stay pressed out on her completely. Now, that gives up a lot of pick and roll to the inside. And that was something that we knew we had to give up because I believe she was shooting some in the mid 60% range from three. Uh, I've never seen anything like that before. So you knew you had to be out there and a long ways out. When you guys built your 17 point lead, it seemed like it kind of got stagnant maybe a little bit out there, especially offensively. Is, is that something, just, just one of those things that happens or was that, you know, 
kind of happened? I think some of the stuff we take a look at is to see, you know, one of the things uh, we talk about all the time is trying to make sure we don't have three freshmen on the floor at once. And yet, that's where we were at sometimes tonight with the foul troubles. And I think what ends up happening is that, you know, if the ball is not going in the basket easy for you, which it did not in the third quarter, then people start to have a tendency to shy down, not muck cut as hard, not do the things that we're asking them to do. And then I thought we got aggressive again in the fourth quarter. And when we did that, we made some plays. So you said last week at this time you knew that Marta's three-pointer was going in. Did you know that this one was going in too? I'm taking my chances with Marta <laughs> Gomez every time she gets a chance. And uh, she's such a competitor. Uh, in fact, it's interesting. We're all shocked when the ball does not go in. And I think that's probably the same with Denver uh, for their players. Uh, I think you had two of the top five teams shooting threes tonight. Uh, you look at them, they shoot 50% from three. We shoot 52.9% from three. Nobody was given in. And I think every time the ball goes up, uh, we're expecting ours to go in, and so are they. And when you shoot over 50% for both teams, a lot of them went in.